Dear friends, there is a, a teacher in Hanoi, North Vietnam, who used to come to privilege and practice. She had cancer. Her name is uh, Sister Dan Nguyen. She, uh, originally she came from My Root Temple, because uh, a monk from My Root Temple in Hue went to the north and set up a temple, and she was a great-grandchild of that teacher. So she found out that she belonged to the Tiryu Temple, so she came to France in order to meet her. After that, she found out that she had cancer, and uh, one day she, she said that I want to go to France and spend three months of practice. And after that, I will go back to Hanoi and die. And she accepted death. But she wanted to spend her three months in Plum Village, enjoy walking, sitting with her in the Sangha. And that's why when she came, uh, other sisters advised her to go to Bogdo and see a doctor. She said, no, I don't need to see a doctor. I have accepted my death. I only want to spend all my time to be with you in Plumish. And during the, these three months, she enjoyed sitting, working with all of us. And she felt very, we saw her very healthy. <coughs> And before she go back, she went back to Hanoi to die. The sisters in the upper hamlet urged, him, urged her to, to go to a doctor. Just, just to have a look. And she, uh, she agreed, and she went to the doctor. And the doctor found out that all the metastasis had come returned to one place. She was healthy, she was healthy after three months of practice with joy, no fear, acceptance. So she continued to live for many, many years after that. Nineteen years, this has been come remind us. <laughs> Almost ten years. And she's very uh, faithful. She's very eager to to share the practice of problem to the people in Hanoi, in Vietnam. Because we are still a communist country, it's difficult for us to, to organize retreats and practice like this. And when a retreat uh, is organized, many thousand people come and they don't like that, especially young people. So during uh, his visit in Vietnam, we were authorized to have some retreats. And each retreat uh, for young people was attended by more than 5,000 people. And the party and the government didn't like that. They cannot control. People are so young and to adjust it. <laughs> and, uh, Sister Dam Nguyen, she built uh, a stupa, a pagoda, a kind of uh, um, memorial uh, in, in her temple for Thay. Because in our tradition, every uh, teacher uh, should, uh, should be honored by a a pagoda, a temple, a stupa. And when I went to Hanoi for the first time in 2005, the stupa was already built. And I told her that Thay does not need a stupa. Thay doesn't like to sit in a stupa. He wants to be everywhere. But I have already uh, built one for you, dear Thai. And they said, in that case, you have to, to make an inscription um, in the front of the super. And you have to say, 
I am not in here. I am not in here. And that is the fact. If you incinerate my body, you make some uh, some ashes. ashes, and you put in a small pot and put it. It's not me. I don't like to be in there. Outside is so beautiful. But if people don't understand, you have to add another sentence. I'm not out there either. <laughs> if you look for me inside, you don't see, and you go and look outside, you cannot see me either. And if uh, they still don't understand, you have to add a third sentence. There is no nothing inside, there is nothing outside. And the third is, uh, if there is nothing, it must be found on your way of breathing and walking. If there is anything, that should be found in your way of breathing and walking. So dear friends, if you want to be with Thay, if you want to see Thay's continuation, the surest place is in you. Your way of breathing, your way of, of walking, Prove that Thay is in you, and you are a real continuation of Thay. The way Jesus Christ received the bread, and break it and share it, they recognize that it is Jesus, and not his, uh, his, uh, his body, his feelings, and his uh, perceptions. So the way uh, the Buddha received the bread, break the bread and share the bread, make you recognize Him as a living reality. So they care very much about His uh, continuation body. <laughs> and if you really want to care for, for, for that, and then the surest place uh, to look for that is in your way of breathing. If you breathe in and out and you find peace and happiness and fulfillment, you know that Thay is always with you. And when you walk from the parking lot to your office, and if you feel joy, fulfillment, happiness, Thay is always walking with you. And uh, you should uh, wish Thay a happy, beautiful continuation body. And you are that body. This is uh, what uh, we want to remind you as we are on our last day of the retreat. After this, you have the time to walk together and sit around the lotus pond. Uh, there are already uh, 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 blooming uh, lotus flowers. And uh, when we go home to our city, to our country, uh, we continue this kind of practice. We set up a Sangha if we don't have uh, one already, and we are the true continuation of the Buddha. This is a happy moment, and we should be able to make that happy moment last. Thank you very much.